The Division 2 welcomes a lot of new changes to its core game. Some of the changes involve the gear system, others the skill system, but also the weapon system. It looked like the weapon talents remain the same in how they work, but they did add a bunch of new ones to the game. So let's take a look at which ones they added and how these new weapon talents work. As mentioned in the previous videos, there are a lot of new weapon talents. Let's take a look at the 10 confirmed talents and how they work. One thing, the icons for the talents were once again too small to use, but I recreated all of them to the best of my abilities in Photoshop and within the time I had of course. So the talent icons you see on screen aren't 100% representative of the ones in game. Coming pretty close. Anyway, let's get into it. We're starting off with Cauterize, which heals the player for 5% of the damage done to targets on fire. Perhaps this would be a good one for a fire turret build, if that makes a return. Close and Personal doubles the damage on your next shot when you get a kill in close range. This is perfect for a shotgun, though we don't know how close you need to be. The developers did mention you need to be in someone's face. Loaded for Bear increases weapon damage by 20% for 5 seconds when reloading with no bullets left in the magazine, which sounds pretty good for a DPS build with assault rifles or submachine guns. Maybe not so much for LMGs, because it takes a long time for all the bullets to empty out of the magazine. And the next one, Lock and Load, does the same thing, so I don't know why they're called differently, I don't know why there are even two, but this might be changed by the time the game comes out. Kill confirmed increases your damage by 10% on landing a headshot kill. This also stacks up to 10 times, meaning you can get a 100% increase in your damage. But if you miss a shot, the bonus resets and it also requires over 140 headshot damage. Simply meaning this is the perfect talent for the bold action sniper builds. Pyromaniac increases damage by 15% to targets on fire as long as you have at least 10% weapon damage, that's the requirement. Once again, effective in a fire build. Sadist increases your damage by 15% to targets that are bleeding, but it requires a base critical hit chance of 15%. Perhaps stacking this with the Pyromaniac talent, you will be the king of exotic damage. Vengeance increases headshot damage by 100% for 15 seconds after your armor is broken. This should stack well with the health damage from the assault rifles, but it should of course also work well with marksman rifles in general. Finally, Unrelenting increases critical hit chance by 5% when hitting an enemy, but it stacks up to 10 times, meaning a 50% increase in your critical hit chance, as long as you don't miss a bullet and you have over 40% critical hit damage. Very suiting for a submachine gun build, as they already have a high critical hit chance bonus, and you're automatically in someone's face. So far, I like the weapon talents that I see. I like that they added a lot of new ones, my favorite being Kill Confirmed I think. Though I have to say Unrelenting sounds pretty good as well. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite weapon talent is out of these 10 that I just showed you and why of course, because it depends on your playstyle mostly. For now, thank you for watching, hopefully until next time and peace out.